don't know if you guys have been keeping up with my videos, then you know that Realty has been on live quite often speaking on situations with CJ and even Nike. Well, today, Nike responded to some of the things that Realty was saying in the comment section of that live. I am a pop. Because not only do this channel only have 13.5 subscribers, but you mean to tell me that you sit and wait on this channel to go live to talk about me every day? If we got to wait till the 21st, the 22nd, the 23rd, we can do that. Come to, come to my hood and fight me if you want your round two. Because I'm content. He was talking to whatever. He was just saying like how she already been going through his phone and they been arguing. He wasn't happy, but he didn't have nowhere to go. And, you know, he still loved me. He missed me. And he gonna get on his shit. He like, send me some pictures. What you wanna see, baby daddy? Pictures were sent. And she loud him in the act loud like she always do. But she went through his phone this time, and she seen the pictures. And, of course, he had to delete what he sent, but he kept the pictures. So he, he came up with a lie. But he was like, oh, he sent me some money. And because he sent me some money, I felt generous to send him pictures of me. That was dumb. It was like, I love you. I miss you. I can't wait to see you. I want to do this and that to you. And she used to see all of this. And she... Became my worst enemy when she knew he would never leave me alone. I let her tell it. I seen the comment when she said she had a problem with me before YouTube. And I always been jealous of her. Explain to me what part of you that I was jealous of. Because when I first seen you, you was built like this. How many of Kamari parties did he miss? You proud of that? You're through. You disgusting. Like, you don't got none of You got five kids and you sit on the lab to talk about me, CJ, and Lexi. Girl, get you some money. So, no, as I reported previously, I really thought that after the fight, that would be the end of it. But it seems like they may be going for a round two. And after some of the stories that Nike told in this video, I can see why her and Realty never got along and never will. But anyways, let's move on to this next topic with DDG and Ruby Rose. Now, as I reported in previous videos, Ruby Rose basically blasted ddg for dming her also tweeted out he mad i wouldn't go home with him after carisha party ddg then responded with super cap in words not pressed over you and he continues to say don't believe nothing she say she been stuck on me for two years she hurt then he tweets she's weird and been trying to get back with me ever since i moved on hence she ain't got another n word since so then hallie actually tweeted the devil is working lol please don't feed into the lies especially from a third party stay blessed everyone so then ddg retweets and responds with can y'all let go of my meat now ruby is a weirdo she been hating on my relationship for years so then ruby's friend responded to hallie's tweet and stated girl no your man was drooling over my sister at young miami's party not even trying to hide it everyone saw lol and even had his bodyguard come up to pass along a message give me a break you were in ruby's close friends while she was with ddg seeing firsthand how he was doing her and you still wanted to give him a try don't be embarrassing the devil is who you're laying your head next to so then ruby and krishan rock actually went to the super bowl together and they spilled some tea along the way basically stating that krishan is the one that told ruby to post those dms <laughs> Y'all, I just want to let y'all know, <laughs> she is the reason. <laughs> Hold on. For everything today. <laughs> it wasn't me. What? Did I lie to? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. If it was me. Yeah. You said you're not. I don't know. If a nigga tried to get on me with the next bitch and then went back to me. 
and I still love you for whatever the f it was. I don't love Okay, you don't love no more, but. I feel like, yeah, so I said what I said. But yeah, we're on the way to the game. What? <laughs> well, I just feel like Ruby just needs to clear that up because she already started some with that and clothes and them shirts and so. I'm like, you gotta go harder or home. Why did you say that? She get the, yeah. I don't know what the that. I'ma stay out of it though. This is not me. They are like, you messy. I don't even know. Cause if that was blue. Screenshot, what? Posted, what? What did you say? Why is you lying? Why is you lying? <laughs> Like but anyway, we're gonna have a fun game day. My little ratchet ass ball here is standing right pony, so I just put it together. <laughs> Jay, what the f? Oh, you look pretty. Where you get that brown from? Let me get it. I mean, it just been cute, but I can be. My blue. Um, I'm already tell you where you at, boy. Yeah, but just know I know where I'm at. Speaking of the devil, let me uh. Yeah. So then Chris Sean's boyfriend Blueface tweeted out leaking DMs is lame as F for real. I knew Rock had something to do with that. I'm sorry at Pontiac May DDG. So Blueface is actually apologizing to DDG for his girl telling Ruby to leak those messages. Now this whole situation is just really messy but as always I want to know what you guys think about this. You guys think that Hallie should just leave DDG at this point is this going to be too much drama and mess surrounding his name now let me know your opinions on this and everything else in this video down in the comment section below